It's the end of the session, but I might put this at the beginning of the vlog because at the beginning when I first started filming it at like four and four o'clock this morning when I was on my way to work, I didn't know what the day was gonna consist of. And I feel like that's gonna be the fun of this vlog is in my head, I thought it was gonna go one way and it went a totally different direction in a super dope way because I landed probably the biggest Ollie I've ever done. Well, at least the sketchiest Ollie I've ever done. Like I've done maybe one, no, this is probably the biggest and sketchiest Ollie I've, I've ever done. And so I'm probably gonna put this at the beginning just to leave you guys on like a little bit of a cliffhanger. So you guys wonder what's gonna happen in the video. I can tell you that this one's actually worth watching till the end. And if you do just wanna skip to the end, go ahead, be that guy, I don't mind. But I just, I'm trying to hit a thousand subs and when I hit a thousand subs, I wanna try to kickflip a 10 stair. To be honest, I haven't even ollied a 10 stair yet. So I'm just building my way up there. I've already done an eight stair. I know where a nine stair is I'm about to go hit soon. That'll probably be in one of the next few episodes. And then I'm gonna hit the 10 eventually. When I hit the 10, I'm just gonna kickflip it because when I ollie it, I'm fucking kickflipping it. There's no point in just going and sending myself down a 10 stair, not actually trying to get the trick that I wanna get down the 10 stair. And so, yeah. This is probably gonna be the intro. Enjoy the rest of the video. It's like 4.50 in the morning and somehow I'm actually gonna make it to work by the grace and determination, I guess. I don't know. I uh, ended up getting that vlog done last night at like 11.30 and then I uploaded it. I'm trying to do daily vlogs all October. And so some days like today are gonna be harder than others. And so I know if I'm determined enough and can make it through days like this, then I can make it through every other day. And so I'm stoked. Get ready for a good vlog today. Look at that view, bro. I just got off work. I'm gonna try to go make another video right now, or another vlog, and try to hit some different skate spots. I feel good enough to go skate. And so, since I feel good enough to go skate, I gotta at least go try to learn something new. And enjoy the beautiful day because look at how nice it is, mate. Looking at that last video, and I'm just hoping that this is not how I looked at work all day because I just look like a fucking madman right now. But it's all good. Uh, yeah, as I was, <laughs> I don't even know if I'm going to use the last video that I shot because that, that just looked like a crazy person. I don't know if these vlogs are even going to be called the Skate and Create at this point because I'm kind of trying to. I'm just trying to stay consistent the whole month of October. So that's what we're doing. Just pulled up to Les Schwab and I'm gonna go in here and try to get my car fixed real quick. And then hopefully we can go skate. Well, this is kind of why I'm happy I'm doing these vlog things is cause I feel like I was saying I need to be more consistent and I also just need to pay more attention to detail because the other day they told me that I needed to be here at 9 a.m. and I obviously had no clue of that and I didn't know that because it is almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon and I worked from 5 a.m. until noon and so I, there was no chance of me making it at 9 a.m. and so I think that's another thing I need to start doing is just paying better attention to detail because I thought I've always been good at that but obviously this situation shows that and I think I was talking about my punctuality in one of the last videos too and that goes hand in hand with this is because I didn't show up to this appointment at all. I just totally missed it. And so I have a new appointment scheduled for Saturday. And so I'm stoked because I do have Saturday off. And so I'm going to try to get my car fixed on Saturday. It's Thursday. Hopefully my car will last two more days with how cooked the suspension is. But I'm going to just try to go get a real quick skate session in, edit the video and get it up because I'm super tired right now. And so I'm going to just try to keep the energy I have for a good skate sesh and then go home, edit the video, upload it. And if you are still watching, I appreciate you. These intros might be a little bit different than the first few Skate and Create episodes because, because of stuff like that. And because I'm still just like learning how I wanna do this. And I'm just trying to document the process of me trying to get better at skating and being more consistent. I don't even know what I'm saying, but uh, we gotta get a vlog done every day of October. I gotta stay consistent, so let's get it. I am back and I don't know where I was at in the vlog or like I don't know what I've said so far because I've kind of just winged it this whole time and I'm super tired I've now been up for like 12 hours because I've been up since 5 a.m. and it is around 5 p.m. or I think it's after 5 p.m. I don't even know what time it is right now but I just pulled up to this spot I've skated it before in the third skate and create vlog 
and it's super good and i actually didn't even see like this whole side that's over here with all these other spots there's like a seven flat seven over there or like a six flat seven that i might try to do later but i can't do it right now because it literally says no skating right in front of it and there's a bunch of people still here but if i stay here long enough i'll probably do that and then there's a sign over there you might not be able to see it but i'm gonna go walk over to it and i'm gonna try to ollie off of that maybe maybe try to do back 180 or something be pretty dope because that's like a hella street spot and i am kind of good at skating like thin sketchy things like that i have a clip for my official skate video that i can't wait to put out because i did it on something that was kind of sketchy it was a backside flip too and so yeah anyways i'm gonna get to skating and just have a little fun skate session i'm gonna try to do a long ollie manual on this little manual pad over there to start out the video and then just go from there because i still need to get warmed up but yeah enough talking let's get to skating this is how we are starting the skating part I need to start making this like a thing of every skate create vlog. I'm gonna start sticker slapping all the no skateboarding signs. And yeah, fuck you, no skateboarding signs. We're skating, baby. We're just gonna start this sesh off with some um, manuals. Oh, this little manual pad right here. There's a the car like perfectly in the way, so. Just squeak like that. Three in a row to start out with is actually pretty dope. I'm stoked about that. Just all manuals, but you know. Now I'm gonna try to get an all manual this way, turn around and do it the back the same way. Got the all manual first try going that way, but I do want to get it both ways because consistency is key. Already a good skate session. I got a bunch of ollie manuals already. I guess I could try some nose manuals or something. I did say that I want to work on nose manuals, so I guess I, sh I guess I should practice them. I guess earlier when I said consistency is key, I'm just repeating that phrase. I meant to say repetition leads to, I don't even know, but I need to just work on my repetition with tricks. I need to practice my tricks more often and just get them dialed in so when I do try tricks, I can just get them. I'm probably just gonna get one more nose manual in this manual pack because there's rocks everywhere and it's kind of, it's just not the best nose man, or it's not the best manual pack. super stoked i feel like i do just need to start skating every day because i can already feel myself improving super stoked man gotta stay consistent this whole october i think that it's gonna pay off i'm gonna try to get a thumbnail right now sorry guys all right before we go hit this little gap or curb to gap spot it's just literally right here hydrate if you haven't already, drink water. Drink water every day. Water's the best. This is the cool little spot. It's literally just a curb to a little gap. Sorry if I'm not pointing at it good. It's just a little curb to a gap. I'm trying to do a few tricks. Goes into the road basically though. Luckily there's a huge bike lane though, so I'll probably be good. Oh yeah, I probably need to move the tripod back. I like these wheels, they're nice. 
I gotta send the kickflip at least. Pretty stoked about that. I might try to ollie off this sign real quick. Just pray my board doesn't break. I'm still on that board. It's on its last limbs. But I think I could probably do a first try and if not, my board's just gonna snap. That's all that's gonna happen. So, uh, yeah, it's that sign right there. But after this, I either might get out of here or do some more tricks, but I've already had such a successful skate session that I'm super stoked. And I'm really tired. I only got three or four hours of sleep. Had to work at 5 a.m. I'm feeling good though, I'm thankful. Let's get this other trick. Here's the sign, it's not too big. It's just the only problem is, is it's thin. Barely a board's length thin. So I could probably do it. I'm gonna send like one or two ollies down it, but as you can tell, it's literally about as thin as me. We're just gonna try it and see what happens. Hopefully everything goes good. Uh, we're going bigger going home for this skate period up to here about so it's a pretty big drop i've done drops like this though it's just the gap so it doesn't need enough speed to hit the gap so hopefully i can just get a first try you need a flat ground ollie though oh, yeah i got that one i'm gonna do this first just not enough speed like I just don't know if it's possible like at least for me right now like I might be able to come back in the future but it's just I just don't have enough running room I'm like it's just a little too thin so uh, I don't know I really want to try it but I'm like I feel like that's all it is, is if I just try it then I'll be like okay I got it all right I at least gotta send one just so I feel better about it. so good it was so big and it was like so scary because it's going down a hill there's all these cars like being all weird the security just came in and he watched me doing it and then he just left so shout out that w security but 
Holy shit, that was the biggest fucking thing I've done in a long time. I'm so hyped. Yes! My fucking ankle's gonna be sore tomorrow though because I landed on my back foot weird. But I think I'm gonna call that a vlog because honestly that was the biggest shit I've done in a long time. Because of how sketchy it was, I might put it in my official skate video, but you're not gonna see the whole clip unless you watch to the end. And so, god damn bro, I'm so stoked. That was so fucking sick. It's literally the sketchiest trick I've probably ever done besides like the one that I've saved for my skate park, but And I just did that one like two weeks ago. I just I've been trying to go in dude. This consistency is really paying off I appreciate every single one of you if you watch if you watch till the end because like seriously I fucking I feel like this Drop is like a mark in my skating like I'm gonna definitely start getting better and now I know why Jaws does big drops like this and shit, because it's just so fun. Like, it's so fun. It's so exhilarating. That rush of a drop is like, your heart's just like pounding, but it's not, because you have to stay calm and collected. And then it's literally like right at the moment when you decide to chill out and actually like take a deep breath and actually be like, all right, I can get this. That's when you land the trick and it's so fucking cool. And that's what I think I'm starting to learn more. And I think that applies to like all aspects of life. I keep saying that. I think I should just call this like the aspects of life series or something, but I feel like if you stay committed and just keep on trying stuff, it, it like pays off. And then like if, it, it, during that time when you're staying committed, sometimes you get stressed out and it's hard, but it's right when you reach that calm state of mind, the flow state, you get to where you wanna go. And I feel like that's like a super, like interesting thing for me to realize right now and I hope it's like helps pivot my life because yeah that's a huge reality check like I don't even know what I just said and I have to rewatch it because that's that's pretty dope like that's like God talking or like the source talking because yeah that's crazy bro all right I got it now that was that was crazy bro I just spaced out for a second because that hit me so hard it's like even when shit gets hard and you want to freak out, you got to stay calm. Like when you're under pressure, you have to stay calm and just like, even though this isn't like some crazy drop, for me it's crazy. And that's the thing is like, that that taught me a lot right there, that drop. is like, right when I was getting stressed out because of security and stuff, I just like, all right, take a deep breath, bro, and just do it. And I did it. And so, oh my God, I'm so happy. Thank you guys for watching Skating Crate episode like nine or 10. I think it's Skating Crate episode 10 now. And so I appreciate you guys if you watch all the way till the end. I'm definitely getting better at skating and I wanna come back and kick with this one day, but we'll see if I do that or not. And so yeah, I'm super stoked. Be safe, have fun, do what you love. Skate Crate, bow. Ah uh, shit, they're coming for me, bruh. God damn, I'm fucked. Nah, no, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys the skate spot before I actually left because it's pretty crazy that I actually did it now that I'm looking at it more and more because I just kind of put it all to the back of my head while I was doing it. But these are really scary. So when I was riding on it, I was looking at these and I did not like this. And then also this side has it too. And then, not to mention that this is not, it's barely over a board's length. And so, me alling off was pretty scary. And then when I step back here, you can see it's literally only like one, two, three boards probably. Like you can probably fit three boards there. And so, I'm pretty stoked that I did it. And I feel like that's a definitely a mind over matter type thing. And it's like, this is a lesson about how skateboarding is just about commitment because I think I could have got it way earlier. I probably could have got it like second or third try once I was actually comfortable riding on that thing. But I feel like it's good that I do what I do so I don't get hurt because I feel like it has helped me prevent getting hurt a lot by just building myself up. And even though my feet might hurt after because I jumped down it so many times, it's, it's better that that happened instead of me fucking slamming off the thing. And so, yeah, this is the outro, outro, outro to the video. Cause I feel like I always shoot like two or three outros. 
and I apologize to y'all because sometimes I just can't stop talking, especially when something like this happens. I'm just so hyped. I just called my friend and I just told him to. And so, uh, yeah, I hope this good energy rubs off on you in some way. And if you do watch all the way till here, you're seriously amazing. Hope you guys have a good night. Be safe, have fun, and skate and create. Bow.